Hi, I'm Eric Haney from Haney Reels here with Rob Mochman, and we are going to demonstrate how to change the packing seal on a full flow swivel joint. Uh, we, we have a few varieties of full flow joints here. This is a one inch female by female. We have a high pressure version. We have a uh, half inch, I believe, is what you're going to be demoing today, that is Rob. Correct. Eric, I have a half inch, 90 degree, female by female, basically held together with uh, ball bearings. The ball bearings are hidden underneath the grease fitting. First, we'll remove the grease fit, the grease zerk. We'll pull him out of the way. Okay. And what I'm going to do is basically the easiest way to clean one of these is set it in a in a solution. Okay. Take and clean up any type of uh, old grease or dried grease. Get or rid of heavy that's and, 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 and dry, dried grease. Right. Okay. But for demonstration purposes, there's a little bit of re you know a little bit of stuff inside there. I'm going to cheat and use my trusty little magnet. Okay. We're going to pull each one of the ball bearings out one at a time. So normally, if this is cleaned right up, normally if this is cleaned right out, we could take and pull each one of the you know the ball bearings will almost roll right out okay. of the place. So you're using so, a magnet, sort of as an assist, to help draw that ball bearing out. That is and there correct. are 17, 17 ball bearings. 17 ball bearings in here. Okay. We've pulled each one of the ball bearings out. So you cheated and removed right. most of them in advance. Correct. But you did remove the last uh, couple. Okay. And you're now and attempting to pull the pull stem the, out of the body. That is correct. Okay. A little tougher than uh, than you want it to be. What we're going to do is remove the old seals. Okay. Okay. Basically, what we have is we have a wiper. We have a seal. We have the backup ring. And also with the full flow style. We have a dust seal. Dust okay. seal is the brown one hiding so away So you removed the uh, four, four components. Four components out of the inside. Okay. What we're I'll, gonna do, I'll take these out of your way. What we're going to do is just clean this up just to make sure that there is no defects or any type of um, Nicks, corrosion, corrosion that's on, okay. the, on the uh, body, okay. or excuse me, on the stem, on the body. We'll do the same thing. We'll clean it, inspect it, just to make sure that there are no defects. Okay. And at this point, you want the new seal kit? We're going to put the new seal kit. Okay, I'll hand that to you. Okay. The supplier was nice enough to take in. And while you're collecting yes. all those parts, putting them in the right order, I'll just point out that uh, the instructions are in here how to do this operation. Basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to work the, the furthest one in. You're reversing so here, the order. This is the dust seal. We're going to put him all the way in place. And if you notice in the in the packet that we received, there is a small washer in here. That's actually for swivel joints that do not have grease zerks in them. So I'm going to take and put the backup ring in place. Backup ring has got a little bit of a cut to the seal to the uh, to the ring. Got a little bit of a bevel. We're going to line them up so that make sure two, they meet together. Two okay. meet together. If it if they line up incorrectly, the back side if it uh, crosses over, it'll take and start to tear into the seal. Okay. With the seals, the backup, the wiper, everything put in place, I'm going to take a little bit of grease. I'm going to lubricate the the, the O-ring. Yeah. Yep. Just give the O-rings. Give everybody just a Touch of grease. I use a silicone based grease, basically good universal grease for all applications. I'm going to take the female portion, push it back into the stem. I heard a good all snap set, there. All held together. And I presume the, at this point it's just a matter of putting all the ball bearings in one at a time. That is correct. Okay. Okay. Insert the grease fitting. Okay. Now once the grease zerk is in place, we'll tighten him back up. He's all set. And with a with a manual hand grease gun, we can take and grease this basically an eighth of a pump. There's okay. not a lot of room in here for the grease to go. Okay. But that swivel that swivel's ready to go. Okay, great. Okay. Thank you, Rob.